there's a new small llm so this is tiny llama 1.1 billion so the tiny llama project aims to pre train a 1.1 billion llama model on 3 trillion tokens they could achieve this within a span of 90 days using 16 840 gpus the training was started in the month of september okay uh, so this model has been now released okay so they were uh, releasing uh, various checkpoints and currently you have this 3 trillion checkpoint okay and this model is based on the llama architecture they use the same architecture and tokenizer as llama 2 and this is a very compact model with only 1.1 billion parameters they also have a demo so i tried out their demo uh, basically i put a query uh, for some reason it is still running okay uh, so let's see uh, what they are saying is that we stopped running this chat demo on a paid gpu you can still try out this model on your local machine okay so this demo doesn't work fine no problem uh, so their model is available on hugging face and here they talk about the same thing it's a 1.1 billion llama model uh, uh, it is trained on 3 trillion tokens and what they've also done is that uh, they've taken this uh, you know this base model the tiny llama 1.1 billion intermediate step which has been trained on close to 3 trillion tokens and they have fine tuned it using zephyr's training recipe so the idea is that they uh, you know took this model and initially fine tuned it on a variant of the ultra chat data set which contains a diverse range of synthetic dialogues generated by chat gpt okay and they also further aligned it using uh, direct preference optimization based reinforcement learning right uh, on the open bmb ultra feedback data set which contains 64k prompts and model completions that are ranked by gpt4 so that is this particular model which is tiny llama 1.1 billion parameters chat v1.0 okay so this is their new model right and if you look at open llm leaderboard uh, i couldn't see that particular model over here but the other models were present over here for uh, you know tiny llama uh, you know the one um, this one right the three trillion base model and here are some of the performance metrics okay across various benchmarks so this model compares somewhere in terms of performance metrics with llama 7 billion parameter model okay so that is what when i looked at it uh, you know it kind of compared it with that right so now uh, yeah because this chat playground is anyhow not working uh, i built up a small rag based application to just test out this uh, tiny llama so i wanted to uh, you know this is the gemini uh, paper from google right so i actually wanted to give this particular paper as input and then i wanted to chat with this particular paper that was the idea which i wanted to do over here right so i was like uh, thinking about um, you know how could i do this so i use llama index as a library for my retrieval based augmented generation uh, this is a very simple notebook uh, so i created this uh, simple chat based interface so the idea over here is that this pdf file will be given as an input this pdf file will be then chunked the text in the pdf file will be chunked and vectors will be created out it out of it uh, you create a vector database uh, llama index provides you uh, methods to do that and then you can actually query the vector uh, database get your context and then give it to tiny llama llm to generate your output that is the idea over here okay so what i've done is that i've installed a set of libraries especially llama index gradio and pi pdf for you know uh, reading this pdf document then what i've done over here is that from llama index i make use of simple directory reader to read uh, data present under this data folder which is this pdf 
okay that is what is done over here so the pdf is uh, read and uh, you know text is extracted from the pdf that is what happens over here i also import from llama index vector store index simple directory reader service context and hugging face llm okay so then i have to instantiate a hugging face llm the tiny llama over here tiny llama 1.1 b chat v 1.0 okay this is the model which i am instantiating over here write the tokenizer and model name i give it this particular model has a context window of 2048 so that is what i specify over here All right so in this way i am um, instantiating an hugging face llm to be used as the llm for my retrieval augmented based generation okay and here is the system prompt and the query prompt and other things then for embeddings i am using this uh, you know uh, bai bg uh, small this is a good embedding okay so this embedding is used to convert text into vectors and this vectors will be stored in a vector database so i create a service context over here whereby i specify my custom embedding which is this bg small uh, this particular embedding and i also specify the llm to be this tiny llama llm which i have instantiated over here so this is the service context now i can create a vector store over this documents with this service context so ultimately what happens when i create this index as query engine over here is that internally this documents are converted this pdf is read it is converted into text using this particular bg small embeddings it is converted into vectors the vectors are stored in a vector database and the llm is instantiated to be this tiny llama 1.1 billion chat okay so then i can uh, write a small predict method uh, which takes input and history so input is basically your query and history is your uh, set of queries which you have done in the user interface now i can create a simple chat interface with gradio all i have to do is import gradio as gr and gradio chat interface i'll pass this predict function for generating our responses and launch share is equal to true because i'll get a ur uh, url to you know run this particular demo okay so once i do this uh, this is running on gpu if you look at the resources uh, it has currently gone up to 9.7 gb but actually uh, for the model it requires only 2 gb okay because this model is just 1.1 billion parameters it just requires 2 gb for this particular model to run okay so here what i have done is that because this paper is related to gemini uh, i ask a set of questions related to that um, you know because i want to chat with that pdf right so i ask like what is gemini it says gemini is across um, google effort with members from you know these different places i expected it to say that gemini is a set of uh, you know a family of multi model models okay so that is why i then asked that is it a multi model yes it is gemini a, la a language model for q state of uh, language model some nonsense it gives over here but then here it says that yes the gemini is a multi model model that combines a language model and a question answering model again it gives something over here you know now but it says that this model is shown to perform well on a variety of q and a task question answering question question classification all those things right for some reason i'm not really satisfied with this answer um, then i ask what is the architecture of gemini so it says gemini is a family of highly capable multi-model models that advance you know this is where i'm getting a correct answer the models are designed to be modelized combined the architecture is a combination of transformer based encoder decoder models so here i'm getting a better answer compared to the previous answers okay then i ask like which model is better gemini nano gemini ultra or gemini pro because these are various size models and gemini um, and gemini ultra is the best model right so here it says gemini ultra is the best model across the board for all six capabilities gemini pro the second last model in gemini is also quite competitive and it gets repeated over here that's what i am seeing in terms of responses okay the same sentences comes across uh, right it says that gemini ultra is the best model across the board for all six capabilities and gemini pro the second largest model is also quite competitive okay so it kind of repeats these sentences i'm not sure why it happens then i say what are the possible inputs to gemini inputs are your text it could be images right it could be text plus image prompts it answers something over here totally different okay so this is very uh, straightforward drag without any guardrails without any further this thing so maybe that's the reason 
right but yeah in some cases the responses are good like over here how are images given as input to gemini here it says gemini can output multiple images interleaved with um, a text given a prompt composed of images and text all right um, gemini ultra is from and it gives some example over here okay so i asked like how does gemini ultra compare to gpt4 so here it says gemini ultra is a family of highly capable multi model that outperforms gpt4v in academic benchmarks such as math vista and so on okay so when i looked up this particular paper here is what i found out you know it achieves strong performance on a diverse set of understanding infographics so it is basically pulled up this content right versus gpt 4 v okay this table also it is present i'm not sure i'm sure that it's not pulled up from this table but it is actually pulled up from this whole paragraph over here you know and then it's given this response saying that gemini ultra is a family of highly capable multi model models so the context which got pulled up was this right from the vector database and the tiny llm lama llm could you know based on the context generate this response so for a model of 1.1 billion parameters uh, you know i find the responses are quite good a lot of people have even reported that the responses are good but yeah then this compares well with say a 7 billion parameter or a 3 billion parameter model uh, you need to do extensive testing of this particular model for your tasks to make use of it to see if it can be used as a replacement for some 3 billion or 7 billion parameter models but i like this idea of smaller um, language models right uh, which can be usually used within constrained resources and more and more smaller models should come in the future and that's the hope i have so this was a small video on tiny llama 1.1 billion parameter model uh, so actually uh, you know i'll be putting the link to this particular github as well as this notebook uh, you know the link to the hugging face page for this particular model you can go and check out i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video